Hi you all and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Chef Unique and today I brought to you guys a special recipe that is the beloved by my bonus daughter. This is her favorite recipe for me to make and I literally make this every single week and I finally decided to share it with you guys here on my channel. So it is garlic butter pasta in which my bonus kids call this garlic butter noodles. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> so basically I start with getting a pot of water on the boil and then I like to buy already peeled garlic because who has time to peel garlic? <laughs> and using my favorite garlic press, which I link in most of my videos, I'll link in this one as well. I press my garlic cloves to give me a minced garlic without going through the hassle of all that chopping with the garlic. So I use a ton of cloves of garlic. The preference of how much garlic you use is yours. This is a garlic butter pasta, so I want this garlic flavor to be very prominent in this recipe so I use a ton of it and I like to add shallots to pretty much anything that I cook I am just like obsessed with shallots <laughs> um, in this recipe I do use shallots as a part of my aromatics and only about half of a small shallot here as you can see get that very finely diced and we'll have that added to our butter to give us that flavor there all right, so now we do start with cooking our noodles, our pasta, pasta or noodles, I'll refer to both in this video. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I start with cooking the pasta first. And so in this case, we first get our pasta water seasoned. After it's boiling, we add some salt, heavy salted water, and then we pour in our pasta and allow that to cook as instructed. I got that fresh pasta from a local pasta maker where I live and it's in Upland, California called Pasta Padour Makers. Getting fresh pasta is not that expensive, but it is actually so much better than box pasta. Even though box pasta is what I use majority of the time, I don't have the time always to get fresh pasta, but if you can get fresh pasta, it's amazing. All right, so then I have my one stick of butter the amount of butter you use is gonna be based on how much you're making. In this case, I'm making a full pound of pasta, so I am going to use a stick of butter where I slice the butter so that it's easier and able to melt a lot faster. I throw that in a non-stick skillet. I'll link the link for that. These are one of my favorite skillets to use. They're white with a great interior, but really aesthetically pleasing, but they cook really nice as well and very evenly. So when the butter is fully melted, you add in the shallots. Red pepper flakes are optional. I usually don't add the pepper flakes when I make it for the kids, but for the adult version, I do add red pepper flakes. I like a little bit of kick to my pasta. Um, then I add in my garlic, and then you let that basically cook down the aromatics release and your butter to be flavored with those shallots, the red pepper flakes, and that amazing garlic. Once that is good and well mixed in, we're going to get our cooked pasta that we've drained already. These are a trumpet pasta. I, mentioned, I forgot to mention that earlier in the video. I like a pasta that has sort of a vessel to capture that sauce. A penne is also a good pasta but you can also use a fettuccine, a linguine, or spaghetti noodle as well, bucatini. Uh, I like my pasta to have a little bit of like a vessel to catch that sauce because that sauce then sticks into the pasta and the flavors just carry through every bite. So I use a trumpet uh, pasta noodle here and they're pretty. A lot of us eat with our eyes first these are a very gorgeous pasta that you can substitute with any recipe that you make to make it look more beautiful. So even something as simple as a 10 minute pasta can look very, very expensive <laughs> and like you cooked it for a while, but it's just the look of the pasta that makes it look fancy. All right, so I seasoned this with salt and pepper and I squeezed lemon juice on these pasta noodles and I've now added 
Parmesan cheese and now I'm getting this mixed up pretty well and we're going to add Parmesan cheese again at the end of our topping but I like to mix it into the pasta as well as finish it off at the end when we're finished when we're serving it. So I'm getting that mixed up pretty well and coated and then straight to a serving dish and again as I mentioned I like to get more Parmesan cheese added at the end. I garnish with some just simple dry parsley flakes and I then add a little bit more cheese as well because there can never be more cheese. And usually for my bonus kids, they love a little bit more of a squeeze of lemon juice. So I usually, at the point of serving, add additional lemon juice to their pasta because they like it very lemony. So here you are garlic butter pasta thanks for watching and hope you guys love the recipe thank you